Tonight, a last minute crush of travelers are flooding into the path of totality, hoping for a chance to see history. It gives you tingles up your spine, you know, when it happens. For our family, it's a once in a lifetime kind of experience to see, but that's why we decided to travel. As more than 44,000 take to the skies today alone, the FAA is warning about delays at airports in Little Rock, Chicago, Burlington, and more. Cities along the roughly 100-mile swath from Texas to Maine will go completely dark on Monday afternoon as the moon passes between the sun and the earth. And we are literally over the moon to welcome over 1 million people to our state. The millions of tourists are adding to the more than 31 million already living along the path, prompting concerns about supply shortages, cellular outages, and traffic chaos. Here in Dallas, exits like this one off of major highways that lead into downtown will be closed at certain times during the big event. NBC's Maura Barrett is in Bloomington, Indiana. This small college town normally has a population of 80,000 people, but it's expected to balloon to hundreds of thousands, all for the eclipse, which will be seen just above this stage in this football stadium, all while William Shatner, Captain Kirk himself, narrates the moments of totality. That excitement is spreading nationwide. Schools in Buffalo, Cleveland, and Indianapolis canceled for eclipse fever. So it's called the eclipse bourbon. Texas restaurants are serving up specialty cocktails and blackout burgers. In Maine, eclipse-themed tattoos. Plus, <coughs> researchers are eager to study how animals will react. The big event is cause for other celebrations, too. In Ohio, Jenny Harris and Bart Lombardi are getting married when the sun meets the moon at a huge service for 150 couples. It's definitely the only time it will happen in our lifetime to experience something like this. It's pretty crazy, but it'll, just so much fun. And Priscilla, it is crunch time for all of these places with less than 24 hours to go. Hallie, that's right. Crews here at the Perot Museum of Nature and Science are still hard at work as are crews across the city putting the final touches on events ahead of tomorrow's big day. Hallie. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.